This is Conversations with the Mulvane Collection. Today we consider Moses Sawyer's oil on canvas painting, Four Young Women, painted in 1940. Renowned Kansas art collectors Lewis and Retta Soslin donated the work to the Mulvane Art Museum in 1969. The artist Moses Sawyer was born to a Jewish family in Russia in 1899. His family emigrated to the U.S. in 1912, seeking intellectual and religious freedom. Encouraged by his father, who was a writer, teacher, and amateur artist, Moses Sawyer became a professional artist. He studied in New York and in Europe, and was particularly influenced by the Ashcan School painters Robert Henry and George Bellows. Sawyer established himself as an American artist best known for his portraits of everyday people, frequently depicting women. He is described as a social realist painter. This quasi-expressionist style of painting originates from the Ashcan School's gritty depictions of urban life in the first two decades of the 20th century. In the 1930s, during the Great Depression, artwork was often marked with discernible social and political commentary. Not all social realist art was overtly political, but work of this genre and period typically reflected the hard social and psychological realities of the Great Depression. Four Young Women typifies the style that Sawyer is best known for. The horizontal composition contains bustling portraits of four female figures from various different viewpoints. The women are all similar in their manner of dress, hairstyle, and in their facial features. The painting is representational in that it depicts the natural gestures of an individual or individuals. Yet, Sawyer's thick impasto brushwork, emphatic use of bold black line, and color scheme of blues and grays set against the reddish brown of the figure's garments, imbues the paintings with a psychological fervor or feeling of unrest that goes beyond an interest in transcribing nature. The artists use color seemingly very symbolically to convey the subject's inner feelings. After consideration of the composition, the viewer may conclude that rather than four different women, possibly one woman is depicted multiple times in the same composition. What do you think?